probably after I started working at MTV was the first time I saw it because I, I don't think I had cable when I was approached by them. They called me, MTV called me up at the office one day at Rolling Stone and said, have you ever thought of being in television? And no, I never thought of being in television. So I came over and did a, an audition for them, a camera audition. And it's terrible. <laughs> I had no idea. I was wearing like a white sweater or something. It was just, everything was wrong. They gave me some copy to read. They put it in the teleprompter and it was horrible. And I told them it was horrible, and they went and rewrote it and put it back in the prompter. And it was a real prima donna, I suppose. Because at the time, all the people I knew who were music writers look, totally looked down their nose at MTV. So this is a perversion of music. Music shouldn't come with pictures. It's just horrible. They just couldn't, they didn't get it at all. I felt pretty much the same way, although I didn't watch MTV a lot because I didn't have cable, as I say. Why did they approach me? I have no idea. I don't know. I just, you know, I just, did I have a high profile? I, don't know. I was still doing a lot of cover stories for Rolling Stone. The idea of music television does sound stupid, but when I got to MTV in 1988, uh, it was just this wonderful period, kids. There's so much money in the air. There was so much money just in the, in the system, in the music business. Everything was booming. So you have this startup operation showing videos that they don't have to pay for because <laughs> so much money. So you can do all this stuff and there are no rules about what this operation should be like. You know, what do you do? How do you present it? What's gonna be the format? There was none of that. You just made it up as you went along. And if you decided you wanted to go, why don't we shoot something in Tokyo? You go shoot something in Tokyo. It was great. And you could have, you know, have the Romones come into the studio and play something live. That's very hard to do, as I'm sure you know. And there was just no end to what you could do. And they'd say, oh, you want to try that? Sure. I mean, I heard an executive once, somebody told him that MTV was stupid, and he says, yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was great. It was a ton of fun.